Hello, thanks for joining me. It is Pun Monday. Let's have some fun. I have a chalk paint based shadow stone. Um, the brand that I use is Folk Art, but you can use any chalk paint that you want. I like two coats. This gives it a uh, bold and bright white, and then you can paint over top of it whatever you choose. So, I have a mechanical pencil out of the school supply pile that never seems to dwindle. <laughs> so I'm going to start off by just doing a sketch of my toast. Of course, it's going to be French, so we can't forget the mustache. Um, this idea is from Pinterest, and I'm kind of just winging it here and um, not tracing or anything. I'm just going for it. So I got the top here. Um, I went ahead and sketched that in just to make sure that I was symmetrical. Of course, symmetry is not my friend, and if I'm a little bit off, that's okay. Maybe you're more sy symmetrical than I am. Have at it. It's fun. We're just doing some art, and it doesn't have to be perfect. So I have this little beret going on here with this little top, and I am... Um, just doing the base for my toast right now. Doesn't have to be perfect. As you can see, mine won't be. So let's give him a mustache. I'm gonna try to start in the center. Give him a little curly cue there at the end and you can see here where I didn't like this and I was gonna erase it, but I'm like, hey, let's do the other side first and let's try to make it match up. That's a little bit better. So let's do this bottom part again. That's why we have erasers. If you pencil first, um, your guide is a lot better than just trying to wing it. Of course, I'm not gonna pencil my letters, I'm just gonna go along with that. So let's put the crust on here and give them a little bit of 3D because we all know that when we make French toast, it's a little bit thicker because we've added all the other stuff. There we go. Uh, it's not quite tall enough, so let's fix that up a little bit. There we go. So now I am ready to paint. Um, in the interest of not having you sit through a very long video, I'm going a little bit faster here. Using Inktense Pencils by Derwent, um, I have four different colors here. This one's tan. Just gonna go through here lightly with my water brush and give it that tan light color. Sorry about the construction outside, it's very annoying. So it's not quite dark enough, so let's darken that up a little bit. There we go. That's more like a bread color. All right, we got saddle brown to do our crust with. Just takes a little tiny bit of water here on your brush and you want to make sure that you swipe that off on a paper towel or if you have a dedicated towel like I do. Um, then you can get rid of the color that's existing on the brush. We have a deep blue here. Swipe that brown off of there so it doesn't go into my blue because I'm using the same brush instead of trading brushes out. There we go, now he has a little French beret. And now we have dark chocolate for our mustache. And if you notice too, I'm not smushing the pencil into the rock. You only need a teeny tiny bit. This gives you the ability to manipulate the color, plus it doesn't make you waste your pencils immediately. If I squished it down on the rock really hard, I would go through the pencils instantly. And since this is a really big expense, I kind of try to use them sparingly and lightly. There we go. Now let's take our Posca 1MR. The R makes all the difference in the world. The 1M I don't have much luck with because that splashes all over the place and ruins a lot of what I'm working on because of the tip size and shape. So I'm going through here and just outlining everything with my Posca 1MR. This is where it comes to life a little bit and looks a little bit less plain. Mustache time. 
There we go. Let's give them some eyes, little personality. So let's use our Thule Art Fine Liners. These are available on Amazon. This little beret piece at the top was a little bit too small for my Posca 1MR, so I just got that one out, and I'm gonna keep that one out here. So let's switch back to our Posca 1MR and do our lettering. So I kind of like that we're doing uh, lettering month this month, so I decided to do our last week's challenge and do different fonts. So I'm gonna do French in all capital letters, and then we're gonna go in with regular calligraphy with toast. It's pretty simple, I'm writing out the letter and then I'm fixing it up as I go along. So all of my downstrokes are gonna be thicker, same with calligraphy. Um, and then where my pen is going up is going to be the thinner line. Almost done. I always put a little black heart somewhere in my art, so we're gonna put it right here. And let's get our Thule Art Fine Liner and give him some freckles and a little bit of character on the bread here, a little couple little dots, and there you have it. Have fun, do a pun, it's fun, it's just art. Have a wonderful day.